Welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force, I'm Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Mikoyan Grevik MiG-23 MF Logger. So this is the Soviet Union fighter aircraft, over 5,000 of these were built, making it the most produced variable sweep wing aircraft. What that means is the wings can do the transformers, so uh, this is for landing and takeoff, the wings are spread out. And then it could sweep the wings all the way back to go supersonic like that. The one we're building today is actually from the Hungarian Air Force, which Hungarians, they call themselves Magyarg or something. <laughs> and this is a MiG-23 MF, and it's the export variant uh, from the Soviet Union. They export to third world countries, so uh, here. So they did downgrade a little bit, although they have been since withdrawn from service in 1997, so these don't operate anymore. But why Hungarian Air Force, you might be asking, well, that's all thanks to Owen Bross who commissioned this build, making this video possible. If you guys do want to commission me to build something for you, small to medium sized military build, check out the link description. But then again, why Hungarian? Well, Owen Bross told me that there's too many uh, Russian or Indian MiGs, so he wanted to try something different. So it's definitely the first time we're going to add something Hungarian to the arsenal. Although we don't really have Indian builds on this channel. But yeah, let's go take a look at the build here in the front. We got this long pointy antenna sticking out. Uh, I guess the radar system. This has landing gear. Now, it was actually quite tricky to build this. Uh, one of the reasons why is because in real life this thing is actually tilting up So I did have to kind of think about how I'm gonna do this But I did want to make it straight just to uh, make it easier for the tutorial Because you don't want to have like the diagonal one that's gonna be totally different from flying um, So yeah, this is like a compromise design. I mean it looks pretty fine just in real life You know this wheel a little bit a little bit closer to the body. I think this whole thing's tilted um, and over here we have the patch this is the emblem for uh, the People's Hungarian Air Force, and um, we have it also on the wing. And another reason why it was hard to build this in particular is the camouflage, since this is an older aircraft from the Cold War era, and there's not a lot of them. There's only like 12 uh, MiG-23 MFs, which are the single-seater, and they also have the UB, like four of them. So it's kind of tricky to find like the right uh, designs for the camouflage. So this is what I came up with uh, using uh, my best efforts because there are a lot of variations as well. I guess this is like an antenna pole. And then the back, we got the rudder. We got the afterburner. It's a single afterburner like that. And we got a fin on the underside. There's also a fuel drop tank right here. And there's like a weapons pylon right over here, quite thin. And now let's go take a look at the swept wing version of it. So um, yeah, we just basically fold the wings back. I've seen a lot of pictures of this one rather than this one. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. I'm gonna be showing you how to build both versions. And first I'll show you how to make like the main model and then we'll later modify it to make each version you want. So yeah, let's get started on this build. So let's grab some materials. We're gonna take out a uh, grindstone. Anisite wall, stripped oak wood, green terracotta, iron trap door, smooth quartz block, stairs, slab, and end rod. All right, so first off, let's make the front landing gear. So we're gonna place um, anisite wall, two blocks above the tracks, I mean ground, I'm so used to saying that. And strip wood on top of this, and then two green terracottas in the front and three in the back of this. Then we'll add in two more stripped um, oak wood like that. And uh, maybe when you're building this, it might be a better idea if it's like going horizontally. Then we'll add in a smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slab. Then we'll place the block temporarily and add an end rod so it sticks out so it's pointed like that. Then on top of this, we're gonna add in a snow layer. It's gonna be one snow layer here and then two snow layers behind it. And then um, a dark prismarine slab another brick slab, and then black concrete. This could be two blocks long, just like that. And then we'll add in green terracotta, two blocks long, and then four oak wood. So one, two, three, four, and then green terracotta, and then oak wood, and then four green terracottas, and then oak wood, and then two green terracottas. Make it a two by two and add another one on top of this. Strip oak wood here. Strip oak wood to the side of this, a green terracotta on top of this. Then we'll add smooth quartz stairs in the front, snow layer on top of this. Back uh, to mud brick walls. 
And then down here is going to be a red terracotta with a warp button and a glow item frame around it. Then we'll go uh, back at the front and we'll add in a warp button to the side of this. And oh, apparently I forgot to add in the grindstone for the front wheel. Put that down there. And then we'll add in an iron trap door here. Two smooth cord slabs behind this. And then two iron trap doors. Then we'll add iron trap door to the side of this, two blocks long. Then we'll add in white concrete, 14 blocks long. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, just like that. All right, then we'll go up here and we'll add in an oak slab. Then down here, two stripped oak woods, two dark prismian slabs, an oak slab, an oak trap door, and a lever facing towards the back. Over here, we'll fill this in, green terracotta like that, stone button right there. And then we'll go on top, we'll add in oak stairs, dark prismian stairs upside down, a polished blackstone brick wall, and then two upside down polished andesite stairs. A spruce trap door on top of this, and underneath this wall. <clears throat> then we'll add in smooth quartz slab here. And then we'll skip three blocks, add another slab right there. Then we'll add in three diorite walls. And trap door to the side of this, and make it four blocks long. One, two, three, four. And then two blocks tall of an site wall like that. In the back here, we'll add in iron trap door to the side of this, extend it all the way to the front. Then on top, we're going to add in a daylight detector, make it blue. And then a polished blackstone brick slab like that. Then we'll add in two green terracottas behind the andesite wall. And then two stripped oak woods. Then a green terracotta right here. Then two more stripped oak woods. Then a polished deep slate block, a green terracotta, and then an, and then we'll add in oak stairs facing inwards, oak slab on top, a mangrove button to the side of this. Down here we'll add in two polished diorite block, I mean slabs, an iron trap door. All right, next up let's go over here on the inside of this. And we're going to add in a smooth quartz stairs facing right side up, four blocks long. One, two, three, four. Then smooth quartz slab, then smooth an iron trap door on the very edges. And then the middle of this will add in iron trap door hanging on the underbelly. Just like that. Another iron trap door right there. All right, next let's go over here, add in two dark prismarine slabs. And then a uh, oak button there. The side of this, we'll add in dark prismarine slab. Gonna make it four blocks long like that. And then we'll make a T-shape of oak slabs, just like that. Then we'll add in an oak. Then we'll add in stripped oak here, and then a green terracotta. All right, so for the landing gear, let's go here to the wall, go diagonally, add in a black wall. Warp button, a smooth cord slab on top, an oak sign to the side of that, a lever right there in the front, a polished blackstone brick wall, and then a skeleton skull facing inwards, just like that. All right, next up, after this polished deep slate, we're going to add in four of these birch fence gates, and then a dark prismarine slab like that. Then we're going to add in two dark prismarine slabs here, skip a block, and then two oak slabs like that. Then we're going to copy everything that we did on this side and build the other half. All right, so once we have both sides, it should be looking like this. Then we'll go over here to this side. And we're going to add in an oak slab here, dark prismarine slab there, then a dark prismarine slab. Skip a block to dark prismarine slabs and then oak slabs in the gaps. Oak sign to the side of this and a stripped oak wood inside there. Now for the other side, we're going to add in a green terracotta right there. 
a dark prismarine slab, and then a web sign to the side of that. And then two oak slabs. Skip a block oak slab here, and then dark prismarine slab right there. And then another dark prismarine slab right there. All right, next up, let's go over here. And we're gonna skip these two slabs, add in dark prismarine slab, four blocks long. Then we'll add in an oak slab right there. Then the other side, we're gonna add in two oak slabs here. And then three dark prismarine slabs, like that. All right, so this is gonna be our base model and this is where we're gonna split off the tutorial, whether you want the different style of wings. All right, let's get started on the wide wings version of it. So let's go here to the side of this, add in an oak slab like that, three blocks long, add in two over here, then diagonally another two, then dark prismarine slab, and then a birch slab, and then a mangrove button, and then oak slab, wrap it around this birch, another one right there, and at the very tip of the wing, two oak uh, trap doors like that. Then we'll add dark prismarine slab in here, make it two by two, and add three blocks along here, another one right there, then make an L-shaped oak slabs. That's how we do that wing. Now for the other wing, uh, let's go down here, and we're gonna add in oak slab, and then four uh, dark prismarine slabs, so one, two, three, four, like that. And then we'll add in two dark prismarine slabs right there. Then we'll add in an oak slab, one right here. And we're actually gonna make it four blocks long. And in the back, we'll make an elk shape round with oak. And then we'll add in an L shape again here, just like that. And then a birch slab mangrove button, and then dark prismarine slab to the very edge of this, make an L shape, three blocks long each side like that. Then two oak slabs and then two oak trap doors, and that's how we get the wing. So now let's move on to the swept version of it. So let's go right over here, yet again. And then we'll go to the side of this oak slab and we're gonna add in two oak slabs like that going down. Then we'll add, go diagonally, add in another two. Diagonally, add another one. And then a birch slab, and then mangrove button on top. Dark prismarine slab. Then we'll add in an L shape of oak slabs around this. And an L shape of oak trap doors around that. Like so. Then we'll add in a two by two dark prismarine slab. Two more dark prismarine slabs. And then we'll add in dark prism slab here, and then an oak slab. So that's that wing. Now the other side, go here to the side. And we'll add in dark prism slab to the side of this. And then an oak slab. Then we'll add in dark prism slab, make this into a 2 by 3 And then oak slab, we're going to add in... Um, I'd say four blocks long here. One, two, three, four. And skip to another one going that way. And then a birch slab, mangrove button on top. All right, next up, we'll add in oak slab. Two over here on diagonal. And then an L shape of dark prismarine slab. And another L shape of oak trap doors. And like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make both versions of the MiG-23 MF for the Hungarian Air Force in Minecraft. Thanks again to Owen Bros for commissioning this build and making this video possible and supporting the channel. If you guys do want to commission a build for yourself, check out the link in the description. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you had already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.